Hey guys, it's your friend Jacob here. I'm gonna be starting work today on a shorter project. It's gonna be a gazebo build. So I'm headed to go purchase the rest of the lumber and then we're gonna head over to the site. All right guys, I'm here today checking out another job. This is gonna be a big pergola. I'm calling it a gazebo because usually a pergola connects to a house, but the client's calling it a pergola. There is a design for it already. There's some really cool steel brackets that we're using. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty fun job to watch because I think it'll go pretty quick. So this is the region where we're gonna be putting this pergola. It's gonna be, uh, I believe, 12 by 16. That's sort of the general shape. The pergola in question is going to have a roof. Um, so we're ordering metal roofing for that. I'm just here to check out the job because I haven't been at the site yet, just to make sure everything's gonna work out, make sure we're good on the property line and things like that. So I've talked to the client and we're all ready to go. Everything checks out uh, as far as on my end, everything looks good and prepped uh, for me to get in here and start this job. So hopefully we'll start in the next few days. So I was able to come last night and drop off my trailer. Got it set up here. It was real dark and rainy, kind of sucked. But I'm all set up here now. All right, this client is totally revamping their backyard. They've already had quite a bit of work done. These pavers are pretty much new. They're gonna continue working on the landscape as the spring comes in. There's some electrical that they're gonna wanna run into this structure, so it'll be good to get it built. The access is really good back here. We're working with a pretty much level surface, which is nice. There's a little bit of a grade to it for drainage. It's also nice as far as consideration, just looking at a job site beforehand, like where am I gonna keep my stuff? I do have a space here to set up my tent. Uh, which is going to be critical because it's December and it's just raining all the time. Okay, so I just checked my layout on where my post bases go. Everything is square here, so I can kind of run off specific corners of these pavers and just work off of that as my layout. That actually comes in handy because I'm gonna have to remove some of these pavers, dig my hole, and then actually cut a piece of one of these pavers out for the post space to fit down into. All right, so as you can see, I broke one of these pavers already. They're very fragile, so luckily there's a couple replacements, but I can't really do that again. <laughs> these footings aren't really serving the normal purpose that you would have for like a deck or something like that, so they're not quite as big. They're really just to keep the base of this post from moving. They're basically just gonna serve as a fastening surface for our post bases. It's essentially just gonna give us that main concealed look that we're going for where the post just disappears right into the pavers. We're then coming in with the steel post bases and fastening them down with Titan HD anchor bolts.
right, so here we have our steel post bases. These are really nice, custom fabricated. There are two through holes in order for you to anchor the post base down. And there's lots of drainage so your post doesn't rot away over time. Water's gonna completely get out of here. There's a nice inch area and it all drains out through the bottom. So I'm marking out my spot here. And rather than using a square, I'm just gonna move this thing up to where I want it to go. And I'm gonna give myself about a quarter inch since that's the gap that we have on all of our pavers. And this thing is gonna end up looking perfect. It'll also give me a tiny bit of room just in case it's not perfectly level or plumb to move this post base around once I start setting it. So since it's so fragile, I'm gonna place the piece that I just cut down first. This is firmed up for about 45 minutes. Um, I don't really need to touch it or do anything to it. It's gonna shrink and sink a little bit over time. It's already a little bit lower than the grade, so I can start setting these things and not worry about disturbing this area too much. So I'm gonna operate a little bit differently on this last piece because so much of it rests over the top, including this corner. So what I'm gonna do is drop a little bit of sand on here. I'll be able to work it quite a bit um, because the concrete is still wet. And then I'll just lay this thing down and however much it needs to adjust to fit the plane of the other pavers. I can kind of work it right now still with this sand on here. Trying to just put it on where the concrete is because everywhere else I've kept essentially at the same level. This is gonna be kind of my area that I'm reworking. All right, so you can see the level of the concrete's gonna adjust here as I drop this thing down. That's exactly what I want though. And it'll sit nice and tight on there. This concrete's actually gonna firm up this paver and these as well a bunch. Square this up a little bit, right there. Nice, that looks good.
Okay, so I wanted to show you the process on at least one of these. That's probably good right there. What I've been doing is coming back in with some of the gravel around the edges and using that as basically a counterweight to raise the level. That way I have a lot more control rather than pouring in. I can kind of fill in on the sides and it brings up the height of that concrete right to the perfect amount. I'll show you. All right, so here's my gravel. I'm gonna come in here right on the edges and put it just onto the concrete. I don't wanna get it onto the sand because I'm still maintaining that level that that paver was sitting on. So I don't wanna you know, make this any higher than it was. Definitely wanna steer clear of where my bolts are gonna be going. Once you get a nice line like this, pretty even line, just kinda of work it down and that's gonna shift all of your concrete up. And this isn't weakening what I've done here with this footing. All right, I've now packed just about as much gravel as I want in here and it's a little bit lower, probably quarter to a half inch lower than my existing plane of sand. So what I'm gonna do is come in and pack some loose sand on top of this, a little bit higher than the packed sand and that will give me some room to shift this down and it will also bring that concrete up just a little bit more as I put the weight of the paver back down on it. Wow, that is almost perfect. All right, now I'm gonna give it some weight. Okay, so I've gone through and cleaned up quite a bit here. Um, just wanted to show you kind of what the finished product's gonna look like. This is the first one that I poured today and it's pretty cured. It's probably been in here about four hours, so it's dry to the touch and it turned out really good. So I'm excited to get these post bases in here um, and get them fastened down and that'll be for another day. Mm -hmm. 